Hello YouTube! I am back with another sketchbook. I finished this one actually a while ago and I've been reading to make a tutorial of it. Just got a little caught up with getting back to my second semester of my first year um, in college, so I hope you like this one. I actually made this sketchbook. Um, I bound it myself, which is why it's uh, kind of falling apart a bit, because it was the first um, book I'd ever really been able to bind before. Um, I also carved my name into it because I wanted some sort of decoration. Uh, but the paper is Canson XL uh, mixed media paper. It's really good actually, like some of the best sketchbook paper I've ever used. I definitely recommend it if you ever decide to make your own sketchbook. Go with Canson mixed media paper. Normally I don't like mixed media paper because it just for some reason never takes watercolor well. This stuff does. 10 out of 10. Alright, so here it is, the sketchbook. I always um, write like the date that I begin and the date that I finish. Um, and also, I begin every sketchbook with a self-portrait and a little bit of information about myself at that point in time. Um, sadly, at this point in time, I had two bunnies and by the end of the sketchbook, I had none. Which, when I went back and saw that, it made me really sad. <laughs> but yeah, and so I had my tattoo at this point. I didn't have my sunflower tattoo, so I like having that little information. And you can see that I was really happy at this point in time, so it was good to see. Uh, here's the initial design for my sunflower tattoo. I then like redid it in, on like my iPad Pro to get it to look exactly how I wanted, and now it's on my skin forever, woo! Um, I wrote down a list of 50 prompts of things that I wanted to draw that were outside of my comfort zone because I get stuck doing the same things like portraits. You know I love portraits. You, that's basically all my Instagram used to be. And so uh, whenever I get stuck on what to do, I'll do one of them. And one of them was um, view out a rear view mirror. So this is a rear view mirror and also with a color palette I don't normally use. So I'm just really pleased with this one because I feel it came out really well. I really like this one. Um, and then this was a uh, storyboard for a project we had to do for actually my final for my uh, core class. Uh, and then I do ta tattoo commissions and this was the initial designs for one of them. Now this lovely lady here, I absolutely adore her. I love drawing curly hair and uh, all over the place and stars. It just makes me very happy. Oh and this says she lights up my night. So she's like the moon goddess holding the moon. I just love things like this. It makes me really happy. Um, and then this was another version of that. It was supposed to be with more flowers, but I got kind of bored of just drawing flowers since I'd just done a project with them. Uh, and so this uh, rope says flower boy. Um, so basically myself, but with abs, you know. Uh, this was based off of a doodle I did in one of my classes. So I just kind of like, blew her up and added her and then I didn't know what to do for the rest of them so why not do smiley faces? <laughs> um, and actually on my Instagram I have a little mini tutorial on how I center my letters um, in my pieces so if you're interested in that you can totally check that out. And also when I'm not sure what to do I like to practice my um, hands because that's a really good thing to do. Hands are very hard to draw and so you just kind of practice a lot and you get better at everything else. Um, this was when I was missing sugar a lot, uh, when I first started getting uh, more sick. Sugar's my bunny. Um, and I would sing to him, sugar, sugar, uh, honey, honey, from the Archie comics um, that are now a really cool TV show, I gotta say. So I had people uh, decorate their wheelchairs with like candy. Um, more tattoo designs. This was another one, but the marker uh, bled through on the page. This was from when I did uh, my first ever giveaway. I was really happy with this and had a whole lot of fun doing that. That was really great. If you if you entered, I'm still very happy. Um, and also, my mom thought it was really cool. So just so you know, my mom thinks you're cool if you entered. Um, this was testing out a new watercolor set I got. These are just so sexy and wonderful. This is actually one of my favorite pieces that I've done just because I love doing soft and happy sketchbook things but I normally wind up going for the more macabre stuff 
Uh, and it's only done with three different colors, uh, actually, just like pink, yellow, and blue. And then you just mix them all together and it just, uh, they're so soft and pleasing to me. And I don't normally do things like this, like, y'all know that. That was another one of the um, 50 prompts. And I just keep this napkin in here because you can see some of the acrylic, um, when it closes, it sticks together and then it tears off and that's unfortunate. Um, here were some more character designs for the comic I started working on and then left at home. So, <laughs> well, by home I mean back in Texas. I'm now um, in Chicago for college right now. Um, this was a tattoo design I did for someone. Uh, and I don't do a lot of just graphite work anymore, so it was really comfortable and nice to get back into. Plus, it's really cute. Oh, this was... Um, a piece I did when I was just out to lunch with a friend we have like I love having like sketchbook lunch dates it's just really fun and you sit there comparing art styles for like hours while you drink too much tea it's really fun and also I don't normally use this kind of uh, neon color palette so it was nice to see that it really worked out and I was happy with it and then again I was missing my bunnies so I drew a lot of bunnies I think they were gone at this point um, I actually, no, they weren't. They weren't. Um, only Seal was gone. Um, Sugar still had a few days left in him. I miss my boys. Uh, this was a final sketch for a tattoo uh, commission. And this is the most masculine man I've ever drawn. Honestly, if you look like this, hit me up. Gosh darn. Incredible. Um, this was the page of doodles from when I tried to teach my Instagram followers like how I draw faces um, and I started out with just trying to teach them how to draw eyes and then I was like let's draw a nose over here and then I was like you know what let's just draw the whole face at once right here um, so we named her cutie uh, <laughs> and then this is my end of sketchbook self-portrait and I was really not feeling good because of my bunnies being gone um, and that reflects in like my art and it's been kind of hard to get back into art since, you know, they're gone, but I'm working on it. I'm working on it. And I know that walking through this sketchbook will give me more oomph to go back into it. So I'm excited. Oh, I also, at the end of my sketchbooks, I give a little wrap-up of what happened um, during the time. Um, so yeah, that is my 2017 to 2018 uh, sketchbook. I hope you liked it. Yeah, unfortunately that one was a very small sketchbook, but this next one is an absolute sexy monster. Look at how big this one is. There's so much yet to do, but you know there's going to be more of these. Um, I also have some really old sketchbooks that I've been wanting to make some videos for. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this one and will enjoy future ones as well as past ones. And you can see how I've grown. So yeah. Uh, hope you liked it. <laughs>